Hey everybody, it's Sean Jardine. I'm out here today at Arizona Traditions. I had to show a property out this way and I thought, oh, I'll just drive through the area, show you guys this fabulous little area and um, let you know um, what one of the smaller 55 plus communities in the West Valley of the Phoenix area looks like. So let's take a tour and we can see what you think. Now I'm in the clubhouse parking lot and forgive me, I'm tech challenged. I cannot for the life of me change the date on the screen here. So you're going to see something from 2020. I can't set the VCR clock either. Good thing because VCRs are no longer around and I can't hook anything up. I can edit these videos, but I can't change the clock. So I need to call a grandkid over or something to take care of it for me. But either way, you're going to see the neighborhood. So let's take a quick drive around and we will see what you think. golf here there's an 18 hole golf course that is very very nice so that's um, a good thing for my golfer friends out there they also have pickleball they've got tennis they've got pools all of the standard stuff that you have in um, the big 55 plus communities but it's just downsized a little bit you can see there's a lot of golfers out here today the weather is fantastic even though that date on the camera says March 2020 it's actually 2022 and it's April so great time of year here in the valley now we're getting into some of the housing areas and all stucco homes tile roofs these homes are generally in pretty good condition they're not brand new but they're newer and I have a lot of clients who like to look out here just because the price is a little bit lower. You can get in here in the high 300s into the 500s if you get something bigger that maybe backs to the golf course or something. But they're moderately priced and you still have a really nice HOA controlled community. So you can see as we drive through, um, it, what the neighborhood looks like definitely centered around golf but have no fear if you don't golf not everybody here is a golfer but it just adds to the aesthetic of the community um, a lot of people I talk to say well we've never golfed we might take some lessons but we just don't know and then I have other people who have to play golf all day every day the nice thing about the smaller communities, you only have one golf course and your house is less expensive. You're not paying for all of that golf maintenance and so that's going to keep your fees down a little bit more over the long term. So this is a good community. Lots of walking paths. When I've been out here before, you always see people walking. Now, this is a Saturday at noon, so people are not out doing their walks. Probably, if it's like in my neighborhood, 4 o'clock, everybody comes out and starts walking. I don't know why 4 o'clock, but that's their time. So you can see, though, it's really, really nice in here. This little stretch of homes does have the added third car garage, which some people will use for their golf cart, other people use it for storage, or you know, your convertible or your Harley, whatever it is that you have, it's a great space. And what that three car garage does for you gives you a little more width on your lot. Usually those go along with the bigger floor plans. flagpoles so we have some definite patriots we 
which I love. Love to see flagpoles in the neighborhood. You see up ahead somebody driving their golf cart. That guy looks like he's on the way to the golf course, but um, definitely is an area where people ride their golf courts down to um, the community center. Um, this area is situated near the 303, which is a major loop freeway around the western edge of the valley. So the feeder the is Bell Road, which is pretty busy. So I, I really don't see any of you guys driving your golf car to um, the grocery store on that busy street. You might cross a busy street, but I think you're more likely to use it to zip around the neighborhood, go see your friends, go over to a class or pickleball or even golf. But um, it is a cool thing to have within the neighborhood. Maybe you only have one car if you're here part time. Um, a lot of people will keep the golf cart as kind of their little second car to get around the neighborhood. If one of you goes to the grocery store, the other person has got some transportation around. So that's um, a kind of a fun thing. One thing nice about this neighborhood, because it is a little more mature and just the overall design, is that they've got a lot of trees. And I really, really like that. Um, it cools it off a bit. It, it just feels a little nicer. And I don't know if you can see over here on the left without me turning the camera, but softball field, which is pretty cool. A lot of these communities out here do have softball teams, and I love that. Um, they will play neighboring softball teams. So um, if you are a softball player, you're sure to find a group to play with. I turn around here and hopefully you can see. So they've got a little clubhouse. They've got some seating out here in the outfield. like when I've been here before they've had um, sponsors on the fence but I don't see anything today maybe their season is done since it's already April this community doesn't get as much attention as some of the bigger communities like Victory at Verado and Pebble Creek just because it is a little smaller and they're no longer building in a ho any homes. So I think sometimes people forget about it and that's unfortunate because it is really, really nice and the homes are nice, great people out here, everybody's very friendly. Um, and they have, I would say, most of the amenities of the big um, favorite areas. It's just downsized a little and it's a little more budget friendly. So if you're looking for something under 500,000, this is a really, really nice option. going to drive around today until I can get lost. If you guys watching at home have already been here and ridden with me, some of you know that I get lost a lot. Um, I think I drive so much that I, I get addicted to the GPS and even though I'm in these neighborhoods all the time, 
sometimes I cannot for the life of me remember how to get out, how to get back to the clubhouse. I, it, it all runs together. Um, now that I'm 60, had my birthday a few weeks ago, so my brain is, is really good on some things. I mean, I can remember some lyrics from, you know, when I was in the third grade, but I, I can't find the clubhouse. So we might get a little lost today and I'm gonna drive in some circles, but I don't think you'll care. You're, you're here for the scenery, not my driving. one of the words I would use to describe this community is lush. Um, not so much with grass, but all of the really nice plants that people have. Um, it, you know, people have got a lot of nice landscaping. It's not so stark desert as some areas might be. Um, there are, you know, nice gardens in the back of houses. One of the homes I sold here had, um, in the backyard, it was a huge backyard, they had what we call a spool. So that's like a mini pool that can be a spa or it can be a pool. It has a heater or in the summer you can turn the heater off and just have a little pool to sit in and cool down without having a big giant pool. Um, and they had a nice outdoor seating area and a gas fire pit. But if you look around, there's a lot of flowering bushes in this neighborhood. Um, people have a lot of nice plantings. It's not quite so stark desert that you might see if you go oh, out to Victory at Verado or even into North Scottsdale. Um, it's just a different look. So if you are um, into your flowers and extra landscaping, this might be a nice place that you would enjoy. You can also tell the people who have a routine gardener because their bushes are super nicely shaped and then other people probably hit them with a trimmer every now and then. I don't know if you saw that cactus there, the landscapers there, but the cactus are blooming. I love this time of year. They're so pretty. It's brief, but they're really beautiful. Before I moved here, I didn't even know that um, cactus bloomed. I had no clue, but. So you can see this property right here, there's two of them, have what we call a view fence on the back. So their view of the golf course is not blocked. Um, they can sit out on their patio and enjoy how it looks out the back, which is kind of cool. That's common in Arizona. You might have block wall or fencing on each side, which gives you privacy from your next door neighbor. But if there's a cactus that's blooming, you will um, have a view fence in the back, which helps you have a really pretty view out your back. Maybe it's open desert, that's what I have at my house, or um, you have maybe a golf course. Sometimes we'll have a home on the water that might have a view fence. Every now and then the water um, backing homes will have nothing. The only problem I see with that, and it's not very often that we find them, but if you have little grandkids and stuff that come over, you, you do have to watch that. Um, you know, because they'll, as you know, they'll be gone in a second and they'll be over the edge of that water. So if you have really young grandkids, you might want to nix that idea. But otherwise, um, it is really a cool feature. So tell me what you think about golf carts. Maybe leave a comment below um, when you move here. Are you thinking of getting one? Um, would you like to have one? Um, I'm just kind of interested in what you guys think. I know I would have one. Um, a lot of my clients are now getting e-bikes instead of a golf cart because then they can kind of ride that down to the grocery store if they want. A little easier than taking their golf cart. Um, it's kind of a preference thing. But I'm interested in what you guys think about that. So leave me a comment 
and tell me, are you going to buy a golf cart when you get here? Okay, so this is pretty much it. We covered the community and I'm going to head out the gate here. I want to show you just what's up the street so you can kind of see where this is. Um, a lot of times people ask me, you know, not so much about the communities because we can get all that information, but what's outside? Is there a grocery store? Are there restaurants? That kind of thing. So we're going to take a little ride down Bell just so you can see and then we'll um, hit the 303 um, I'll stop recording and then I'll zip on back um, to my neck of the woods but this will give you an idea of, of how things work so the neighborhood is located on citrus which is just a street it's not a major street but citrus and West Bell Road so you're in the town of Surprise which is um, just a West Valley um, newer city, um, not brand new, but um, you know, it's not Phoenix or anything. Um, but lots of new development, lots of nice shopping. You've definitely got a lot of grocery stores. You know, you're going to have all of the big box stuff that you need day to day. You're not super removed from civilization. Um, out here at Arizona Traditions and I like that. I'm, I'm somebody that I spend a lot of time at home but I'm also out in the community a lot. Where can I go to happy hour? Where, how far is Target? It, for instance, one night I had people over and I needed an extension cord for this little grill we were going to use on the table and darn it, I couldn't find the extension cord. Turns out later it was hooked to a TV set but at the time I have a Target literally five minutes from my house. So I ran to Target, got the cord, ran home. I was there and back in like 15 minutes. So that kind of thing is really important to me. Um, other people want to be removed from all of that, especially maybe if it's your second home and you're just going to be totally in the community. But the nice thing about Surprise is that you've got everything. There's a church, looks like maybe two churches there. Um, on one side of the road here is an RV resort with a golf course, so um, I don't really do videos about those, but they are available. The only problem with these RV resorts, a lot of times it's a nice way to say mobile home park and the lot rent is pretty steep. So if you're thinking of doing that, we really need to look at your numbers so that um, you know what your monthly expense is going to be. Sometimes people think, oh, I'm going to pay cash and blah, 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 but then you're going to have that monthly lot rent of eight or nine hundred dollars. So that can be a deal breaker for a lot of people. Um, now, just ahead is a Safeway. Um, good sized Safeway. There's a Chase Bank. On the other side of the road is a Walgreens. There's a Dollar Tree store gas stations, um, some little restaurants, a Firestone tire store. So um, this is just the tip of the iceberg. If we crossed over um, the intersection of the 303, we would see a lot more stuff. But um, there is plenty 
in the immediate vicinity of this neighborhood. So if you're baking the oatmeal cookies, you guys know what I always say. If you're baking the oatmeal cookies and you're out of cinnamon, you need that one thing, you can zip right down to the Safeway and um, get everything that you need. They've got a Dunkin' Donuts. So for my East Coast, for my East Coast friends that need your Dunkin' Donuts every day, they've got that. There's a dentist, um, another bank. You can you can just see here. They've got a little bit of everything. Um, there's an oregano's Italian restaurant. We got Wendy's. You can see there's everything right here. Um, Winco, if you've heard of that, it's kind of a discount grocery store. And then right here you are at the 303. So that's going to do it um, for this little episode. I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what we might find here. Um, at Arizona Traditions. Again, a really nice neighborhood. If you've got questions or if you think you want to make a move here and you'd like to talk to um, me or somebody from my team about making your move, be sure to reach out to me um, at the number below on the screen. Uh, you know, send me an email. However you want to get in contact, let's set a time to do a Zoom meeting and we can talk more about your plans and see how we can help you. And hopefully I'll see you on another video very soon.